This time on Sightseeing Spot Facts, we're taking a look at Tokyo Tower. Standing tall above the city's skyscrapers is Japan's iconic Tokyo Tower. Built in 1958, it held a record as the tallest artificial structure in Japan for 50 years, until Tokyo Sky Tree took the top spot in 2010. Tokyo Tower was designed by Japanese architect Tachu Naito, who also designed four other towers in the 1950s. When looking at Tokyo Tower, you may be reminded of the Eiffel Tower, and that wouldn't be a surprise, as it was inspired by it. While the two towers resemble each other, there are a few differences. Tokyo Tower was designed to be taller than the Eiffel Tower, and stands 333 meters tall, a mere 3 meters taller than the Eiffel Tower at 330 meters. Although they're basically the same height, their weights couldn't be more different. Tokyo Tower is half the weight of the Eiffel Tower. One reason for this is that Tokyo Tower was made of a lighter but stronger material, steel. Whereas the Eiffel Tower, built 70 years earlier, was made of iron and has more ornate decorative features which add to the weight. By the way, one third of the steel in Tokyo Tower came from scrap metal taken from damaged American tanks in the Korean War. Steel, being more flexible, also performs better in earthquakes, and Japan certainly has a lot of those. Another contributing factor is that Tokyo Tower has a slimmer base at 80 meters wide, compared with the 125 meter base of its Parisian counterpart. The reason Tokyo Tower was built also differs from the Eiffel Tower. In the late 50s, Tokyo was rapidly growing and modernizing and needed to improve communications across the city. A high location to broadcast radio and TV signals was needed, and as this was the late 50s, only 13 years after World War II, Tokyo didn't have many tall buildings on which to place antennas. Thus, Tokyo Tower had a very practical reason for being built. On the other hand, the Eiffel Tower, built before radio technology even existed, was constructed to commemorate 100 years since the French Revolution and as the entrance arch to the 1889 World's Fair. That being said, the builders of Tokyo Tower also wanted a monument to commemorate Japan's rise as a global economic superpower, and they originally intended it to be taller than the Empire State Building in New York at 381 meters, but costs and material shortages prevented them from achieving that goal. The most noticeable difference is, of course, the tower's colors. The Eiffel Tower has a bronze hue, while Tokyo Tower is red and white, or more correctly speaking, international orange, which is similar to safety orange, but has a more reddish tone to follow with the air safety rules. It's painted every five years, taking one year to completely paint it. The next coat of paint will be applied next year. 2024. It has two observation decks, which 3 million visitors enjoy each year. A ticket for the main deck at 150 meters will cost you 1,200 yen, but if you buy a 3,000 yen ticket, you can continue your elevator ride to the top deck at 250 meters. 360 degree views of Tokyo can be enjoyed. On clear days, you can see as far as Mount Fuji, and at sunset, there are amazing views of the city lights. Speaking of lights, the tower is beautifully lit up with 270 lights, with cool lights in the sweltering summer and warm cozy lighting in the winter. And under the tower, there's a huge four-story building called Foot Town, which houses shops and restaurants. It even has a museum, as well as other attractions and events going on year-round. 
so there should be plenty to see and do at Tokyo Tower. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe for more.